Well, hello, good people. Mark Holmes here. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. I hope everybody's having a great day. Um, it was interesting because I got some uh, text messages from a Randy who was saying that I need to get a LLC or a um, NIL. Um, because he said that ESPN is literally copying me. And I was like, what, what are you talking about? He said, um, literally this does not work. He said, when I heard, he said, when I heard somebody say that he's like, I know that that's Mark Holmes and all that. Now I, I can't honestly say if they stole that from me or if they got that from me or not, but it is funny that today on the Pat McAfee show, and I'm not going to say they stole this from me or anything like that. Um, but they were having uh, Mike Greenberg, who was on there, and their subject was Dak Prescott. And this isn't rocket science, so I'm not saying that I'm the first one to come up with this. But I remember months ago having conversations with my buddy, Game Time Brian. Shout out to Game Time Brian, who's been putting in the work, growing his channel. He's well over 20,000 subscribers. And doing that is not an easy thing to do because um, there's a lot of pitfalls with YouTube and things. Um, unfortunately, my buddy DMV got demonetized um, for a copyright strike and stuff. So he's now DMV Fanatic 2.0. So definitely check him out. Um, the thing they were talking about was why Dak Prescott um, probably won't be re-signed. Uh, and you can go watch the clip of it. If, you know, just it's on YouTube. You can get it yourself. If I put it in here, it'll probably get copyrighted. But their point big is, why would Dak Prescott sign a contract for the Cowboys for next to nothing? And this is what I've kind of said before because when Dan Leo said um, that the New England Patriots were calling Dak Prescott about uh or excuse me calling dallas cowboys about dak prescott i'm like that, that there's no way in the world dak prescott would allow the cowboys to trade him why would i do that because if i'm trading even if i wanted to go to that team for me to tr get traded helps you guys out and why do i want to help you out um and hurt the team i'm going to go to this is the Derek carr situation the raiders said to Derek carr you know what Seek a trade. Find a team that wants you. It will trade you there. And so he did. He found New Orleans. Said, yeah, I like that a lot, but I'm not waving my no trade clause. You can cut me and I'll sign with them. Because if the hypothetically, if Dak did want to go to New England, New England's going to give up a couple of first round draft picks to get him. Which means a team that needs to rebuild, that needs to get more people loses those first round picks to help me so that's not in my best interest and then the reality is when you think about Kirk Cousins who tore his Achilles tendon in the middle of the season got a 180 million dollar contract with I think 130 million guaranteed 45 million a year to go to Atlanta you look at that and say why would I want to sign a contract with the Cowboys for cheap He's got more power. He literally has the dream of every NFL quarterback. Now, unfortunately, I think you know, I'm getting to the point of believing, A, one, Cowboy fans can't stand Dak Prescott, and they blame him for everything. And I have to say, we as Cowboy fans have been spoiled because of Dak Prescott and Tony Romo with having consistency at the quarterback position as opposed to teams like, say, the Jets or um, the Washington Commanders that literally are getting a new quarterback every year and it not working out. The Cowboys have had stability with the quarterback. And be it that Dak Prescott is not the greatest playoff quarterback in the world, I can't honestly say that the team has done enough to go ahead and say, we're a Super Bowl team. Not when I look at what the Eagles do, not when I look at San Francisco does, and so on. And at some point, Dak may realize the only way I'm going to get that ring is to do kind of like what happened with Matthew Stafford. Go to a team that needs a quarterback that's ready to win. And so, herein lies the question. 
Another thing I tried to point out to Dan Quinn is when, I mean, excuse me, Dan Quinn, Dan Salio, is one, when we start hearing $60 million um, contract. See, there's a little difference, and that is called inflation. When you think of when Troy Aikman signed his contract, which was a $44 million deal, that was worth $5.5 million a deal. People said, you can't pay a quarterback that much. That's too much. Oh, my God. Well, from that point on, it's always gone up. So when the NFL salary cap goes from 224 to 255, that 55 million that Joe Burrow got paid there is really more like 59 million right now. It's inflation. And when it comes to next year, that 55 million that was last year will probably be somewhere around 63, 64 million. So, yes, Dak Prescott will get paid a lot of money, a hell of a lot of money. And for him to go ahead and be able to say, you know, like Randy Gregory, here's a deal from the New Orleans Saints. Jerry, do you want to play or not play? If you don't, it's okay. I I understand. But this is the opportunity of a lifetime. Now, the reality is, For me, here's the reality of it. The bottom line is this. I don't think Dak Prescott wants to go anywhere else. I think being in the spotlight, being the quarterback of America's team, um, to have the opportunity to get all the records and everything else, and hopefully the opportunity to win a Super Bowl with the Dallas Cowboys, something nobody's done in the last 30 years, that there's only been two guys on the planet that have done that for the Dallas Cowboys, that if he has the opportunity to be able to do that here, to become one of three guys, that is huge. That's bigger than winning it someplace else. But the bottom line is he's got to get that victory. And before you sign that deal, you've got to know Cowboys – Are you going to be about trying to win that Super Bowl? Or is it just the status quo? And that's the unknown that we don't have right there. Dak holds all the cards. Let's be clear about it. Uh, Some of you trolls, hey, Dak's gone, Dak's gone. Like, he is going to be out of the NFL and unemployed and, you know, living in a gutter. That's not the case. Dak got more money right now. He could walk away from the game, and his grandkids won't have to worry about money. Um. As he put it, I don't solely play for the money. I love the game. He loves the game. And in the end, it'll be about winning a Super Bowl. And that may be the reason why we don't get a deal done. And for all we know, the Cowboys may have tried to make a deal with Dak Prescott. And he's kind of like, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait and see where we are, what you do, before I make a decision. Kind of sucks to be left in limbo here like uh, we are, but that's the life of being a Dallas Cowboy fan. As always, you know I appreciate you guys, and I hope you're having a great day, and I will see you soon. Peace.